Hello. I got my new PC now. So now there should be a lot less problems for me with lag spikes and general frame rate issues as well. And I can also record at a higher quality without like fear of those issues becoming even worse. And now I'm covered if I want to do a Hollow Knight Silk Song playthrough on this channel. My old graphics card was not good enough for that. So now I want to do Shatter Song. Yeah, this. I think this is a cool map. It's like not one of my favorites, but it's definitely really cool in a unique way. On my first time, the vibe kind of put me off and I didn't want to play it until a lot later. But like, it has grown on me. Especially the later parts of the map are really fun. Okay, the... <laughs> Why am I bad? Not bad. <laughs> I gotta get used to this again. Ah! Oh yeah, these. I, I kind of remember the rooms, but I still want to write these down again. And the testing area. I don't need it. Let's go play! This good map. There we go, that one first try. <laughs> no, I was too fast. Oh, also, when I first started playing with this new computer, I felt like the movement was just a tiny bit off, and I think it felt like it was slightly more responsive. It of course becomes harder to feel it over time, because I get used to it. it. Might be a little bit more responsive. I do always have vertical sync off, like to reduce the latency. This isn't like a AAA game graphics card at all, it's like a mid-range one. But I can play anything that I'm interested in. Yes, now I got it. Okay, first berry. And this here. Yep. Yeah, this is going to be tough. <laughs> I'm having a lot of trouble with the back boost now. Even though I played Ivory. That was a pretty good one. <laughs> Oh, that was good. Why can't I back boost? I keep going too high and touching that spinner. I have to like back boost worse by pressing left earlier and holding left for longer. Like, I'm not holding right after going to the portal, you don't need to do that. But I'm afraid of this bounce back where I let go of pressing left and it touches the right side for frame. Like, it's a problem. <laughs> I could press like up left instead of left to prevent it. I think I'll probably do that just in case. I can't do the second pack boost now. I know that the berries in this map raise it to like pretty much cracked red, but I think I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> A ceiling pop! Oh, that w I got there for the first time. I think... Was I too slow and didn't catch the blue cycle? Like, that might be why I died. No, oh, I appeared at the top of the block. A ceiling pop again. How did that happen the second time? No, I did a cassette boost and that made it not work. I have not had a single lag spike yet, which is a good sign. What happened again? I am actually going to check the recording for that. Yeah, I was just very slightly too slow there. Like, one frame too slow to enter the portal. I... 
I came back and I can't jump on that orange block at all. Like, I've gotten there like 10 times and I haven't jumped off of it. Oh! I got a cassette boost there. That was interesting. Not what I want though. And again, am I like too fast? Oh, I lost my stamina. Maybe I like didn't wall boost, I pressed left too late on the last part. I think that's what happened there. Uh, for some reason I didn't get the speed, but yeah. I got it again. This time I got the speed. Okay, now that's part. That's a maze. And um, the cassette boost again. That cassette boost again. Okay, I should jump off of the right side instead of the left and that should be a lot better. Also, I think this should be a good time to talk about how the blocks work in this room. There are only three blocks, but there are like four sections. Like if you look at the blocks at the bottom there, it goes back and forth. So red is always active every other time. So when doing this maze, whenever red is not currently active, red is going to be next. And still not using save states. <laughs> okay, solidifying my plan a little bit more. I have to be a bit faster. No. Okay, and time that jump better. I'm slowly getting better. Oh no. No. <laughs> that is so hard. I'm like getting a lot more consistent at the first part though. Wait, so I can just try to plan out how to try to traverse this here. Hmm. Okay, I think I might have a plan. Okay, I sort of got a bit further. Oh, I'm so close. No! Ah, too late again. That hasn't happened in a while. No! No! <laughs> so close. I can do it again. What? I did do cassette boosts there. That's like crazy. I have been cursed with constant accidental cassette boosts. Okay, some changes of plans. The reds are not lined up to do anything useful with them. That's kind of annoying. Maybe I could go high enough with the orange in order to... to reach that highest red wall. From the small orange block to the top right. That wall. Maybe I can reach it. Wait, so can I jump four tiles with the jelly? I think I can. Okay, I planned things out better. Hopefully I've now actually got it. I can... Why doesn't that reach? Why couldn't that just make it? I would like it a lot more if you could just make it with a cassette boosted jump there. I need a break. Okay, I took a break for like... <laughs> Five hours or something. And also I adjusted the controller overlay. Main thing is that I added a slight outline around the base of where the sticks are. So in this map you can see which way the sticks are pointing better. Hopefully I can get this very now. 
I have my plan, but it's <laughs> hard. I I don't know how I was able to do this without like full planning on my first time. I just got there a couple times and kind of side read it, and now it feels like how. <laughs> like I don't think these controls are that much harder. Fuck! Ah, no! I'm I'm getting tired of this room. Okay, how did those blocks at the end work? So orange, then long jump to blue, short jump to red. I think I already planned that out at one point, but I forgot. Yes! Finally! Now I can move on to something else. Finally! That took over an hour. Probably the hardest single room on Double Stick so far. I also got pretty unlucky though. I think it's still a cool berry, it's just super hard. It's like hard in a bit of a frustrating way every part of it but i don't think it's bad just the techniques used are frustrating but it's a good room using those okay close this isn't that bad well only like the final room is on the level of the berries cassette boost rng <laughs> There. Much easier. Oh yes, the next section. I think the first section music is like my least favorite in this map. Like this is already better to me. On my first time playing, I had no idea what these mean here. But now I do know that they represent the moves you need to do. A note on the upper line means a jump, and on the bottom line is a dash. But I figured these rooms out without that for my first time. And I think it was fun. It was fine. I didn't have problems. I need to be faster. Easy. Much easier than the berry still. Yep. Short room. Why did I... Why am I dying there multiple times? I think it's because that switch covers the entire block. I can't really see. No, missed the timing. This was probably the hardest room to route. It's just a mess of dashless stuff, but I eventually got it without looking anything up. There, no! I kind of celebrated too early. I like never do that. Also, on my first time, I didn't understand that this was supposed to be a crouch jump. I did a regular jump. It's doable, but more precise.
there. That's what I was supposed to do. Is the second very soon here, maybe? Yeah. Cassette boost! Uh, cassette boost RNG! Alright. Yeah, all of these main rooms are not that bad. But now is a bad one. Like, I saw someone else, like, hate this berry because it's so inconsistent, but I kind of liked it on my first time. I want to get the wall boost even once. I got this... <laughs> I got this inconsistent setup-less kind of cassette boost in the first berry multiple times, and now I can't get it when I want to. That was decent. I didn't get an extended hyper, though. Good. Suddenly it's consistent. I'm not sure what changed. That was good. Lately I've had like the couple first times that I've tried to corner boost but jumped without grabbing. Like how did it take this long? Practicing even though I didn't get the dash. So I think the movement in the top left corner here is fun because the up dash is left and then I do a climb jump. So it's like a counterclockwise spin. The wall boost goes from right to up, then I dash left, then <laughs> climb jump which spins even more. That's fun. Yee. But I can like try to consciously make that a spin instead of ever bringing it to the middle. The right stick. Just to make it look funny on video. Too long. Doing pretty well though. What? I got that so quickly. That was much easier than Barry 1 this time. I guess... Because I've already done it, it was sort of familiar, but that was still crazy. Alright, I can move on to other things quickly. Ooh, the third section. Even better music. The music in this gets like better and better as you progress. I want to get to the transcription. Ah, uh, the corner boost. Yes, the corner boost should actually be interesting to input. So I crouch dash to the right, then jump left with an upright jump, and then second jump button there. Yeah, that should be fun. Okay, that last part first try. Nice. That really shows my progress. After like, expert hard side, hypnagogia flag, having lots of problems with reverse wave dash, ultras there. And now I can do them on the fly. Pretty easily. Okay, this one. And now I know what the sparkles up there are. That's just a hint for anyone who might be interested in trying to find it themselves. <laughs> now I need to get the berry. I know you can get there straight from here. Based on the camera, I think you're not meant to do this, but it's doable. Oh no. Okay, it <laughs> didn't save it. There we go. Berry 3. When I got here, I didn't know that 
the binoculars would show you what to do. So I solved what to do on my own. That's the passer skills showing. <laughs> that was just intuitive to me, what you need to do. Because... Let's just look at it. I think I'll slow down what exactly you do right there. When I'm editing this. So you can look at it. So just that kind of stuff is just intuitive to me. As an experienced tasser. So I knew what to do without even looking at the binoculars or anything. I was like, wait, is that actually what you need to do? Because that would be pretty hard to find out for the average person to use coyote time in that way. But I've like made time saves before where you do a diagonal dash off of the edge of a jump through. And then you reverse hyper out of it and ultra into underneath the platform. Like, I've made a time save in that way and that kind of stuff has made it intuitive for me. There's not enough space to extend it here, but if these blocks in Madeline's face weren't here, it was like one tile wider, then you could do a reverse hyper and then ultra into here. You have to like start the hyper on the very last frame that it's possible without it becoming a failed hyper and then dash instantly afterwards i've done it rta before <laughs> like one or two times just for fun i can do the trick where i just press up left here like left and up left to dash then jump dash oh yeah another ultra I think I probably missed an ultra somewhere there. No. Okay. That wasn't too bad, but it still took a bit. Snowball? Yes. So, how did it go exactly? I remember that you need to follow through there. Like, you need to wrap through once, like, go try into the snowball, dash right, wrap through once, and step on the orange, then cassette wall jump, I don't know what it's called. Faster. Almost. Oh, yeah. I remember that you can buffer the dash when you're going into the green portal. That should help a little bit. Close. Ooh. No, I need to fast fall a bit more. I'm also holding upright and mainly using the second jump button for this climb here. Wait, is this possible without letting go of right at all? Yes, it is. I didn't realize that for so long. That felt good. No! How fast do I need to be? <laughs> Finally, yes! That didn't take, like, super long. But that's still really hard. That was much harder on my first time. And now... Just falling. The transcription for this is great. I think there's, like, an in-game file that shows the transcription for this. And it's, like, empty. I saw someone send that in Discord once, I think. No! That was the furthest I got. No! Again! I need to go left faster. Wait! I've never really consciously looked at the spinners in this map. It's like a combination of red, yellow, green and blue. Oh, it's the same colors as the cassette blocks. That makes sense. It looks nice. Yes. It's not too bad. Very one is still harder for me. And there is nothing here. Ah. <laughs> oh, I did the wrong thing.
Yes. The last time I played this, I had like trouble getting to this platform here. And a very poor time. Epic transition. It looks cool. And exit. Also. The transcription. It is not free. Fading. I enjoy doing the movement at the start here. Like start the left, up, right, up to do the super and climb jump. I need to crouch jump. This is most likely the berry that I like the most. It's like the least unique compared to all the other maps in Strawberry Jam, I think. Well, not really. The ending is really fun. But the first half is like most similar to the average style here. Also, I've still not had a single lag spike. That is very good. No, I was not fast enough. No, oh, slower. And yes, I do see the arrows on the side. It's just... It just feels more complicated to do fast falling on analog than on keyboard. So I'm getting confused. No, faster. Also, this is where the dead zone config mod is really useful. That falling section. Because fast falling while going sideways would be extremely precise. Unless I made a fast fall button. But a fast fall button is not very accessible with only the two analog sticks to work with. And I don't want to switch controls too much. And dead zone config is useful in many other places as well. I like briefly explain dead zone config in the description of every video. And you can go look at the mod page to explain it a bit more thoroughly if you want to know more about it. I think it's like allowed in speedruns, so I assume it's allowed in strawberry jam clears as well. Card list clears. How? I keep down dashing there. I've done it so many times. Analog problems. That fast fall section is probably going to give me many more deaths still. I'm getting slowly better at getting there though. And I'm probably cutting out like 70% of the deaths there. Maybe more than that. I probably changed my mind about this being the most fun room, at least for when you're using analog sticks. No, I should have jumped for longer. Yeah, I'm probably going to cut out like every single death on that drop so you don't have to listen to me saying no and ah! No! That was it! I just needed to remember to jump. What? I think I landed on it on the exact frame that it disappeared. So I lost my vertical speed without getting my dash back. Like, I collided with it and it disappeared on the exact same frame. So there was no frame where I'm actually on top of it. So I didn't get my dash back. No! Faster. No! Okay. I need to remember that a little bit better. Let me look at it with binoculars. I'm getting better at the fall. Like, I can feel it. So, right, left. Then quickly right, left. Come on! I need to fast fall more. Also, I've been hyper-focused, so... I really need to go eat now. <laughs> okay, I took a break again. Let's see if I can beat it now. No! Come on, again!
Yes! Finally! <laughs> okay. Yeah, that falling section was frustrating on analog. Maybe I'm just not used to it. I feel like it's a lot harder to control on analog. Or at least harder to learn to control. More complicated to control. That's the right description. Okay. Now the final room. When I played this for the first time, this room was like when I actually thought, wow, this is really fun. <laughs> and then Grandmaster Heartside happened, and I loved it. <laughs> okay, in this part, I've now seen two people on, like, first instinct neutral jump there, and I <laughs> don't understand that at all. Don't you just climb jump straight upward? To me, it feels like climb jumping straight upward is just much simpler and easier. And then there's this part. I see like many other people have lots of trouble with these parts, but I didn't have much trouble with it myself when playing for the first time. I'm not sure what the difference is, but I don't think it's going to be especially hard on double stick. Also, on that first red block, I'm using the instant neutral trick there. <laughs> like, start from down and go up. Oh, I was too fast, kind of. But I also did it slightly wrong, I think. Or maybe I got cassette boosted. And that's why I died. Not sure. I'll just try again. Not like that. <laughs> yeah, too fast again. I need to slow down. Oh, that would have been cool. That would have been cool if I flew. <laughs> Good run. That was the first time that I did the first reverse wave dash correctly. Oh, I didn't get the switch. No, I I just need to tap for a shorter time. I feel like the word tap doesn't really, like, it doesn't work that well with this control scheme. But, like, I don't have a better equivalent, so I'm going to use that term. Oh, no! That was kind of weird. I can do it pretty soon. It's... that's weird. I sometimes just don't dash. Even though I feel like I'm crouching correctly. No, I did the same mistake. I didn't get the hyper, I just crouch dashed. And then, I think because of that, I went too slow. Yes! Once again, I didn't have any problem with the bunny hops. Like, they were just as hard as any other part in the room for me. And I still don't know why that is. When many others have so much more trouble with it compared to the other parts. But, alright. This cool ending part. It's kind of sad that I can't have like a first reaction to it. But it is sick. Like, I do love that animation. It's really well done. But now... Left. Relatively funny story about this part. This was the very last berry that I needed to get for SJ 100%. And I beat the final room and then needed to look for the final berry. And I found this. I found this on my own. Like, after I went to the left, I thought like, uh, Wow, I think I might have softlock Shatter Song. And <laughs> sent a message about it in SJ Grandmaster in Celeste Discord. But I did get it. I think someone, like, 
asked me why do I think I'm a soft talks, but like right after that I did get it actually myself. I think thankfully I didn't get it as a hint, so I pretty much got this fifth berry all on my own. Now I gotta do it again. Okay, first room done. Yeah, I got here. And I didn't realize that you could do an ultra chain here at first. And went down to the fourth berry back and everything. And that's like where I sent the Discord message that I think I softlocked it. But then I went here and uh, like sent something like, oh, never mind or something like that. I don't know. I don't remember exactly. But yeah. Okay, one pixel higher. There. And here. That's it. I feel like I can't really rank this map anywhere because it's it's like great in such a different way from every other map in Grandmaster. Yeah, but I definitely do like it. It's in like my top third, I think. Top third of the maps in Grandmaster. I want to get that heart ultra and grab the bottom of the wall there. We got it, yes. Four hours and almost six minutes. Honestly, a bit faster than I expected. Yeah, it's almost the exact same time as World Abyss. It's like 37 seconds apart. That is cool. So I sort of already said all of my final thoughts on that map, but... Now about what I should do next. I still have an unfinished super luminary video. I just need to beat the hardest room. And I think I'll do a video on Summit as well. Honestly, more likely Summit. Yeah. So that's it for this episode. Bye bye.